Navi. Exciting times and the map pool is interesting. Somehow, some way, Cash has made it in his second map. Now, is this avoiding Nuke or have they somehow made a master plan to play this as a surprise like Liquid did on train well, this, last week? Or is it the other way? Because I think this is a clever play in some ways, but is it, does it go backwards? Does it say that they're that desperate to get train out of the pool that they'll take their chances elsewhere? We've theorized about teams at that 27 and 0 mark against Astralis, potentially having that problem. But we start out on overpass and we start out with Device getting aggressive with the USP. He makes contact, and he'll immediately fall back toward the site as a result. Here we go, then. It will be Na'Vi getting some basic mid control here. You can see it's going to be major sketch. The device falling back from middle there. Falling right back towards the bomb side. And Zipex is trying to get information towards Monster. There is one smoke, one Molotov available here for Na'Vi. As they start to rotate, potentially back towards B. They've got connector control here. And the Molotov will be enough for the barrels. You smoke in front of the site. And then it's down to the pure fragging potential. Na'Vi have got that in buckets and spades. But so is Glaive. And he's ready on shore. And detected a few players on the other side. Zipix still waiting for the chance to catch off anyone going toward the monster tunnel, but Simple's got the shot and set. The first kill of the finals goes to the man who's likely going to be at the hand of quite a few of those throughout this game. And it's Dupree to respond. Majisk's still on the mound as well, watching to see if anyone will cross in. So far, no one will. And Majisk still just waiting around. Has to swing out to get aggressive. Bomb's already going down. Very passive plan for Sandbanks, but Magist spot two toward the pillar device on rotation coming out. And the flank has already tapped, found Zeus and Edward. If his plan was to hold short and peek the defuse, he's got a big problem ahead of him. But he finds two, and they're not on the defuse, which means now he actually can pull around back. Looks for the headshot of Magist, and he won't land it. So close, yet so far, Magist finds three kills. Defuse will come in, they got a little bit scary for them there. They lost the first pick, the B site is open. But still, Astralis, the kings of retake, able to hit the headshots. Magis, especially with pinpoint accuracy of the USP, holds them off for long enough for the rotations to come through, and he saw them so precise at that point. It's Astralis defending against Edward in a four versus one. He got two of them with great shots there. It could have fallen apart, but Magis calm in the end still, closes it out. We get to the second round, four spy here. Remember the extra cash injection now you get the $1,900 with 800 on top of the plant they get a couple of AKs here you have to distribute the wealth out drop those AKs it will leave players like Zeus of our armor but it's worth it got, to be fair Edward with the AK I'd like electronic with that second AK but simple more importantly we'll see if Edward can open things up certainly can he'll get the first and now will there be a response from Australia here they have one more player waiting towards long solid shot from Edward yet again we saw in the pistol how close he was despite that they got to use it Found the kill on him from Jason. Dupree in the corner, very far in the corner. Not often you get someone pushed out quite that far on an angle, and it works to find two. Simple does get the response, and we follow the three aside. MP9 scouts M4 versus AK UMP Deagle. You could argue the range is fairly level between those, given the Deagle can certainly be a problem, but Zeus is even more great. Onto the AK. It's that gun that has the accuracy, and the man to wield it device more than capable of hitting the headshot takes Flamey down. Well then, Astralis take the advantage once more. Simple, there with the smoke. They've both got AK-47, and Mazus with no armor makes it incredibly difficult. He spots one behind the APC, trying to flash in his teammate. Didn't actually deploy, but the smoke is down, but there is a gap. Zeus will try and exploit that, make his way towards the side. They still need to try and get this bomb down, but first, the kill has to come through. Zeus battling two for Nail and Simple plants. He's done a good job, and now they've got a post-plant situation. Simple pushing aggressively. Finds device on the back stairs. Brings it down immediately to a two on two, and now the favor with them because no kits. A single smoke for Zipix, but he's on the MP9, and they've got two AKs to confront. Zeus is low enough HP that that MP9, even at range from the back stairs, can still take him down very quickly. Zeus times his slide out to perfection. One on one with Zipix. Mechanics favor him, but Simple's got the A. There we have it, Na'Vi, a team known to force by if they have the opportunity. That certainly was one, a couple of AKs, they get the first pick, it's too free to answer back though, that nice long position. It comes down to a three on two in Astralis' favor, you think they're gonna close that one out, but I have to say, Zeus, he didn't find kills on the defense of the plant, but he showed so much presence, he allowed someone to get in position so he could make plays like this, do what he does best and start hitting headshots. Zipex didn't stand a chance there, we go one one, and is there a force by in response? There is. Four players fully invested. Device will save $1,000. And now it's up to the AKs and indeed the Galil and UMPs to hold off an Astralis defense here. But we know they're incredibly versatile with these CZs. They can treat these like gun rounds, especially with the few smokes they have. 
Electronic will back off. What are they going to need? And he will eventually find an angle he seems to like more. Actually, in front side of the barrel, so not anything to anyone that was standing there. And they'll slow the pace considerably. Astralis left with little. Certainly no defensive utility that's used on both sides. They've only got Dupree with the smoke who's being aggressive. He'll use that now to hold off mid after finding the open fake. Potentially trying to get a gun from that, but Flamey threw the smoke but so before that bloomed. Nice work from Flamey. Gets in front of the smoke before it becomes an issue. Device, well, Dupree, I should say, didn't see it coming. And now Edward using that rifle. Remember, he is alone here, but luckily no CT presence whatsoever, really. That's all towards Edward. But one player rotating in. It will be Device. He has no armor, but he has got the Desert Eagle. Is it going to be enough? I would suggest no. It's going to take an absolutely stunning shot here to find anything at all as they encroach in his position. He holds on towards A, presence from middle, and indeed towards long. There's the armor being a factor. He gets tagged up to 19 HP, and that should be the round. I don't see a world as if they can really hold them off here. Simple confirms it. Magus, we know he's good with his eagle, but not quite good enough here. Nice clean round from Na'Vi. They fend off the four spy. Should be full eco next. And a good start. They did get swept 16 to 2. They got swept under the rug by MIBR yes. in the final round we were actually one round away from cloud nine side of not even having them in this final it would have been cloud nine on a tie with astralis playing against them right now that's how close it was to decide the final spot with that said at 16-2 they had a little bit more time off sure they were sitting there tensely waiting to see if they were going to make it here but they were resting sure so does that change anything because right now shots are certainly on they've already accomplished as many rounds as they did against the american core of mibr we did speculate earlier what we thought would be the most compelling grand final, whether Stralis locked in, we did say it'd be Na'Vi. Headshots coming through here, full ecos, they can work out. That ding towards simple removes them from the equation somewhere. I think that was actually a double dink at that point in time as well, because he goes down to 16, in fact, two, damage, 2 HP at this point from that range. Passionate Portuguese crowd in the backgrounds. And now Caster's getting a little bit hyped up. To hear all of the sound effects, but we've got Molotov to ramp. That's going to give Zeus a bit more access to the site. Certainly forces the hand of Zipix. He's got to back down in toward the pit, but window covered off. Magisk finds the shot at range, does further damage onto Zeus. He's on 46. So far, so good in terms of damage from Astralis, but 54 seconds left. Now the AKs come to play. Electronic able to slide in, makes contact, but he's taken as well. Two and seven. This is a full eco from Astralis. And although there's five alive, it becomes a bit of a problem if they're not careful here because Astralis can start to get the lineups. See if that happens here. It looks to be a Na'Vi round as Simple and Zeus will confirm that indeed. Same. Just Dupree, who holds on, and you are completely right. That was a full ego. No investment whatsoever. They forced in the previous round, and it's going to be 3-1 Na'Vi and Astralis. Yes, they can buy an extra round, but it still will be weak. But remember, Device did keep that extra $1,000 when his teammates went for the fall. It all in purchase, so he should be able to get the orb still, which is one year complete buy. If you've got a UMP or a Gilel like Edward and Simple do, you might be quite happy to keep those. There's a very high likelihood not all five players will helmets here, if any of them. So there we go. Will Astralis go for an aggressive play? We've talked about Device and his assertiveness and dynamic rounds every single game we cast of him. But now, more than ever, he probably needs to present one of those. They won't have a kit here. You can see the lack of utility, not a single incendiary purchase, and him being glass cannon. Sure, he can't be super aggressive. He can't like, push off short, but he can go for an initial pick, perhaps. We'll see what he wants to do here. As he waits in the corner, looking for anyone crossing over towards party right now. Dupree, with the initial bit of utility, will fall back. And they're not going to go for that initial play, just holding up to see if Na'Vi are aggressive here. Boost on top of the slide as well. That gives a bit more vision toward the front side of bathrooms, but they'll back off of that. Right about the head armor, glass cannon as well for device. So all in from Astralis with Inferno, excuse me, with cash. Cash. Cash money. Coming up next, overpass is almost a must win for Astralis just yes. to guarantee that we have a three map series. If they fall on this and then suddenly they realize, oh wait, now these actually practice cash and get caught off, we could have a two round. For that two game series for Navi. That is that that was my rationale coming in. So we have to remember that's pure speculation. That could be them just saying, you know what, 
they might not expect. We'll just run the around as a group. Two evils, perhaps. Exactly. They they might not have played it at all and just don't want to play Nuke. Be demoralized by having another plot against Astralis in that map. But here we go. The commitment. It's a scrappy one towards oh. B. But Zipex, he'll burn the line first. Great shot from Electronic. As that's the B bomb site cracked wide open at this point. Three players remaining. And remember, no kits here, Matt. Unless Glaive can find two very quick kills right now, there's no chance for this retake. It might not have been worth considering. So double tap toward the back side of the entrance of Monster, but gotta be careful as well if they push through the smoke. Edward's still there. Glaive, he's pretty much completely at Tiffus' side of it as he wants to try and jump across. He will get up above, drops down. Edward's falling back toward the sandbags. That's a kill of Dupree with 19. Tries to get away without being sprayed. Device will hold on to the AWP as well. It's going to go four to one again. No money for Astralis. Fantastic start on the T side for Navi. That's the sort of round you want to present when you know the money's weak on the CT side. You can go for these little executions in these five man gambits towards the bomb site because they don't necessarily have a head armor like we talked about when you've got a UMP and Galil or the incendiary. That's more important. If you go up in a five man execution, you can go in at the same time. Sure, some smokes might be down, but they're not force fills like the incendiaries are. So that's a really nice call. Calculated from Na'Vi, hitting the great shots as well as what we want to see from Electronic as he completely dismantles the defense. It is going to be 4-1, but a device orb is saved, along with a Dupree rifle. We saw it on Inferno in the previous game. If device orb Dupree, he had an AK and four USPs, they still won the round. So this is not a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination, and that's why a tactical timeout will be called right now. Both teams happy to discuss their options at this point. If you're Na'Vi, do you take a gamble, go for a, B, a rush B? It's unlikely the device orb is there. Or do you go for a default and risk him picking you off one by one? What do you want to play here? That's why it's worth just talking about it right now. This is the grand final. Na'Vi are the defending champions. They can't afford to make any mistakes against Astralis. Give them an inch and they will take a mile every single time. It's going to be interesting to see what device will bring to the table here at the beginning of this round. He's got a great spawn as well. We can see on our screens right now. He's right at the front of the pack. Let's see if we can follow him and see what he's up to. Does he want to try and get that first kill or want to hold back and be a little bit more tentative like we saw before? Aggressive from Dupree and Device. Started off, they'll get him pushed out toward the bench position, jumping for information rather than trying to hold an angle for the shot. Wants to know if it's crossed. Edward on top of the slide as well, looking the other direction, but the tree prohibits each from seeing the other. And Device will back away, rightly so, without any information. Brings Dupree back his direction as well because he started to rotate off much like Banana. Natu said it last week at Pro League. Much like Banana, you can hold long and then actually get an early rotation to support your B side. That's all changed, but Jisk even comes back as well to play on the A site. Now rotate one to window, leave Zipix alone, and Navi slowly but surely is actually heading toward that A position. So Device, Bathrooms with an AWP, he's going to rely on information from Dupree. One minute mark comes in. Barely any map control from Navi so far. They're just about getting towards long here, but Device in a perfect position to bar from Dupree. Remember, he's got that rifle as well. They focused all the firepower here towards A, and it might not last too long as Edward will find the first. Yeah, he didn't see him. He didn't know he was against the wall, so he didn't have time to react. Now, Device has problems, but he's got Glaive to protect one side. He realizes it and looks back to long. Shadow shows, remember, towards bathroom. His Device has to be so silent and so sure of his shot on the AWP. He's got a bit of aggro pulled away, but Simple knows what that means. He's not gonna overcommit to the shot all the way back toward the flowers because he's well aware the AWP is still in the bathrooms. Instead, he plays an angle that isolates, beats the shot from the police, and he knows exactly what he's doing. 5-1 Novi. That is unbelievable. Simple had to get the team on his back at that point. They were dropping like flies and he could see it. He fell the round crumbling. He had to dig so deep for that one. It looked like Device and his teammates had locked him in. The pincer maneuver was absolutely spot on. But look at this play. Jumping around the corner, baits out the shot. The preemptive spray towards the bar for it's absolutely everything. And he's not even happy about it, Matt. He's just like, you guys shouldn't be dying. I'll have to do it, but let's not make that mistake again. So well played. He read that perfectly. He knew exactly what they wanted to get from the AWP, and he would not allow it at all. Guns back again this time for Astralis. Device once more has the op. And this time with some armor to go along with it as opposed to the last gun round that was glass cannon. Head armor as well for Glaive, Zipix, Majisk. That's something they've not had, but it matters less this time given that they're against all AKs in one Krieg for Zeus. Electronic revealing that he's in the short time. Might catch himself off as he runs back toward Majisk. I'm not sure Majisk was quite so ready for him to be there. Great shot all the same. He gets the opening pick and will fall back safely. 19 HP, you can see Zeus trying to convert that damage by spamming in 
Bane at this point towards the wooden boards. He's got the Krieg in hand. Remember, we're seeing a lot of these in-game leaders pick up the scope weapons. It's a bit of a trend here. We want to kind of get a bit more information on that, see if it is a real improvement. But either way, it's Device now. He will be defending towards the A site. Sort of solo. He has got Dupree right down there on long as well. Can't really back him up in this particular scenario, but he might not need the help. Great shot to open things up. Tries again to go to the front side of the bathrooms as well, firing through the double boxes. Two down. That's just one. Simple finds the Jisk. Device is low enough as well, but he's also on the AWP, which is a factor. Smoke's going in as they are. They could boost above that toward the dumpster. Touchdown on Simple. He had nowhere to go in Device. There you go. He catches actually the nade from the man he previously killed. Flamey gets him from the grave, but it's all onto Zeus, and I think he's aware that Dupree's in the corner. Dupree likewise is aware that he's out oh. there, both fully blind, and they're both out of ammo. Awkward exchange, but it won't matter. With 10 seconds left, the round is over. Zeus just has to try and survive. He's going down after the timer, boys. They know it. That's why he's actually challenging now, because he wants to die. It sounds weird. Don't kill him yet. Now you kill him. Perfect. I don't That's know what he wanted to do. Zeus doesn't go back to the corner Yeah, that I don't know. But that's exactly what Astralis want to do. That might not seem like a huge detail, but that's massive. It means Zeus gets no cash going forward. But at the same time, they had a nice reservoir, so not a massive deal. Yeah, massive reservoir, in fact, if you want to look at Flaney on 10k. 11k for Simple. They've built up a huge surplus, a massive lead at 5 to 2. Astralis as well. This would be a potential reset. They've only won the pistol. And then we're immediately beat by the Force Buy. There it is, lovely grenade from Glaive. Solid A defense, it was Device holding more defensive lines. You can see as the game uh, continues and the round develops, he took damage after finding the opening pick. He has to go very defensive at that point and play off his teammates, allowed to be baited in. He holds the CT steps and starts hitting the shots, timing it well and using the communication to make sure he's in the right place at the right time. He's got the B spawn this time. We talk about the way he can approach every single round in a different manner. He can be boosted towards B, he can challenge Monster, he can go in that connector. You can never predict when Device will be. And this is where the timeout comes in now. Na'Vi need to work out what their play is going to be. How can they avoid the power of Device? He was weak last week in the, the, the grand final, but you can never discount him. Always going to be a threat. And we'll see him head towards that B bomb site. Does he want to go for the first pick or just hold a defensive line towards Monster? And it's going to be holding heaven for now, at least. He's looking for that four man yeah, stack. He's looking toward it. He knows the timing. I mean, what's, there's, there's no harm in looking that direction. They're not going to be in the B site that quickly. So, in the off chance they go for the boost, he actually gets a free kill. It's, it's kind of clever, in a way. But he just took a timeout, so why not? Zipix has been beat twice now in that position on the left side of the grave. And he falls to electronic this time, despite trying to spray in first. More pressure on the disc. You can see his anticipation as he tries to move back over. Smokes down front side of Monster, allows him to enter further, so he actually wants to play all the way back toward the grill. Dupree, door open. That's a gift. <laughs> Zeus, I think, was completely unaware that that hole existed. Yeah, that, there's not really much he can do about that, unless he has that information. You assume it's fine. But it will still be a 4-4. Four four. Not for long, though. Flamey, I he'll just, be offered up a kill for free. I was going to say, you give a take, get what you give. He walks down and has no idea Flamey is it likewise in a position to capitalize, so Astralis once again find themselves a man down 47 seconds and map control is all to the taking of Na'Vi at this point in time, even with Edward pushing out toward Long. Ooh, I think that I see an Edward spot in there. Mullins off down a bit early because he wants to focus his attention toward the bathrooms, but identifying the fact that the op's on A, not even going to challenge it. Back over toward B. However, op on A, two on B. Crossfire set, but just has to be perfect on Monster Glaive. Oh, that's a clever name. Bounce it right over the ledge. They know he's likely waiting. Just be on vision. Staying away for the Molotov. But just, he's got one. He goes down. Device is found on rotation immediately, so it's Glaive inside of the site they have to worry about. He's inside of the smoke. Shots will rain out and give his position away. And allows Electronic to find a sixth, and again, that's going to be a reset. A harsh one at that. Really nice calls there from Na'Vi. I definitely criticized them. Uh, last week saying that their theory side of their game, their mid-round calls look weak, but that was actually spot on. They managed to get into an equal playing field and trade out some frags towards Connector. Recognize the fact with three players surviving, they're going to be weak somewhere. It was actually two players they ran into towards B. It got very awkward in this scenario, but Electronic's feeling it right now. Three kills for him in the round, and Glaive, sneaky player in the smoke, but it doesn't yield a round victory. We're going to see a full eco here from Astralis. Some deagles. Actually, to be fair, I guess it's uh, the partial buy, you can call it with uh, a bit of Kevlar, that is no grenades. So, should be a Na'Vi round. We'll see if it transpires in that fashion. Remember, the defending champions are going to be the first team ever to get back-to-back, -back, or, or two trips. Yeah, that's exactly it. It, mm. it. That's what's on the line here. SK 
Astralis and Na'Vi have won the three previous Blast Pro Series events in Copenhagen, Istanbul, and then Copenhagen again this year. This would be, the winner of this, would become the first Double Blast champion. Kind of like being a double-barreled shotgun. It's exactly like that. That's not, don't, don't appease it. Electronics sneaking in, doing straight contact toward the window position. Zeus still trying to fire off. Spotted one, but won't be able to get a shot. Perhaps intimidation enough to keep him at bay. Never mind that we got that boost. We're still out toward water position, toward construction. Not been spotted. Be a surprise for them. Blade gets found. Electronic, good shot. Catches him jumping back down. Bomb being planted now. So, Simple at this point knows he's lurking for free kills. He'll get device. Puts us to the point where we can also start to look at that kill distribution as Edward finds the just There's the one form. Zipix, they find something at least on the Deagle, but he'll go down. Dupree, his Deagle always finds something, and it's going to be simple that he gets. Ten kills for simple leads the way. Edward sits on eight. He's been talked about recently as someone who needs to step up again if Navi want to find a way forward. Yes. In the results, Dupree leads the way. As I say, and he's actually going to make this very expensive for Navi. He leads the way for Astralis by getting nine kills now with those two on top. 7-2. Remember, this is the T side for Na'Vi as well. Certainly considered to be a CT map at this point, and the money still isn't fantastic. They invested with Deagle armor there, Matt, and they've got average, maybe 3.5k per player. Dupree, even less than that. He's just purchased a Deagle. They're taking another eco here at this point. This is going to give potentially 8-2 to Na'Vi. And I say that with bated breath because I know Astralis can always do something of these sort of rounds, but statistically speaking, Na'Vi should pick this one up no problem. And we'll see a four-man stack towards the B-bomb site here from the Danes. Will this be an anything? I'm not so sure. They're flashing over towards Monster right now. Doesn't do much for them because the Electronics playing so passively. It confirms our Oniko with that sort of push. And we're just holding a very defensive angle now. Very defensive. So we're behind the fence, even in case anyone wants to walk upstairs. Does get an angle on Majisk. Further kill, as we saw on the free by a way of Flamey. Zipix down. Device! Thought he might find a double headshot as Electronic didn't quite have the angle, but slides out nonetheless to get the kill on the AK. Glaive now left with a CZ. And let's see if he can find the fourth one. So Flamey closes out the round. We go 8 to 2. And that's pretty, I have to say, remarkable at this point in time. You really have to imagine Astralis. They're going to call the timeout, but they're desperate at this point to get rounds on the board. Yeah, this is getting a little bit bleak for them. Remember, yes, it is cash next. We need to discuss that a little bit more. Sure, it's cash. But Na'Vi had a one-week boot camp before Pro League. We didn't see them float cash there at all. Is there any chance that they've gone for a liquid play here? And it's the surprise pick. They've worked on it. They've got something. It's considered a weak map for Astralis. There are some guys on Twitter discussing the idea of Inferno was the safer pick. Cash is an unknown quantity. You don't have information. You don't have any data on them. Why risk it? Why allow it to happen? If it overpass does go wrong for you and you go in feeling like you're a little bit lost, you don't know what you're up against, that could be a massive downfall here. Now, yes, we're talking a little bit ahead of time, but Na'Vi, look on course to take this map right now if they keep this up. This timeout is going to be everything. What's Astralis going to do with it? Once again, no kits. Device, six kills to his name. No one really running away in the fragging on the Astralis side. And we'll go towards the B-bomb side of the Sniper once again. Is he going to go for the aggressive pick towards Monster? Doesn't look like it. Waiting for a B-contact play with looks of things. And we're the first to arrive at the position at Monster. Nice with a closer angle this time on the AWP. Down inside of the site by Peller, trying to play on the back of Majisk, who's already covering off short form. And then on top of that, they've got Glaive. It's a bit of a sequence. Everyone's position yep. based on the other. Simple as get device though, waiting with an off outside monster. Yeah, that's a big pick. It's clever. I, this is a great overpass so far from Na'Vi. This is Na'Vi's choice, remember yes. that. It's not like we have Astralis being strangers on this map, but we talk about it. We see them against Liquid on this all the time. We talk about the fact that they're capable of winning it as well. And it's the unknown entity. I mean, we've seen them now in two consecutive weeks be tricked a little bit by a veto, perhaps. 
Five versus four. Remember, no kids here, but they still have incendiaries and smoke on the CT side. This is not done just yet. Mages picks up the orb. He is actually very handy of the weapon. He knows he needs to find a frag here, holding towards shore, but it's, they're going nowhere near that side of the map. It's going to be an A execution here. 40 seconds remaining. He smokes being lined up as CT steps, and indeed the bank they'll be deployed momentarily. That smoke towards the end of long doesn't actually do a whole lot. That gap allows the team to make their way through, but the incendiary will slow them down. They need frags here. They can't sit back in defensive position and do free no it has to find kill as he lines one up takes one down but an instant trade comes in zeus will take a zip x and the smokes are spot on here dupree stifled on the bomb side but magis does find one back and there it is to spray down from play it denies absolutely everything and three players survive what looked like a very difficult scenario for them actually works out tremendously well in the end they were battling behind the smoke still and magis on that secondary orb seems like he's still got a few more shots left in him it works, it pays off, the double ops setup gets Astralis round number three, they've got it again, they're gonna try and hold on to this one because again, they've been reset at every possible chance, I say possible chance, I... Pistol's not really a reset, but they lost the ensuing force yes. by, and then they were reset on round seven and eight. Three rounds this time after their last. Consistent here, need to build up some cash. Edward swinging back around with Navi already accumulating a win on the half and on a CT-sided map. Give or take. Double orb set up for the first time. So Glaive waiting for it, wants to make sure that they can see to work construction. No jump at Sandbag's form a disc. He actually just goes for the straight wall bang toward the door instead. Aware of that, tries to find his own opening. We see this bait position in bathroom before. Dupree has to commit to staying there. If he, out, if he steps out too soon, if the op's not taking the aggro, he actually gives himself up, so he's got to be very careful. Gun barrel shows as well, so timing is everything. This is the first opportunity Astralis have had to break the bank of Na'Vi. If they get reset again here, I'm not sure there's much left in the tank for the rest of this half. This round is absolutely massive. Astralis for the first time, like we said, double orbs. Glaive normally brings it out when things get a bit desperate for them. And, and that flash to clear the connector, it's confirmation for device that he could just stare in this direction. He does not have to worry about the door. Dupree has that covered instead. There's not an angle by which it overlaps and they can see, but a flash off. Dupree has to step out momentarily to try and keep the angle against the electronic. He'll get one. Backs into the wall and out comes Device once more. He's nailed it as well. It's a perfect setup. It's by design and it is to perfection as they get Zeus walking in front. Edward realizes the problems and they'll back away from long immediately. Bomb is down in the front of bathrooms. And you're right, this is a reset potential. So how much is at stake for Astralis? And how much can they risk on the Navi side? Dupree's gonna give himself up to simple. 10 seconds remaining, that confirms the round for Astralis, and it looks like they'll only drop one player as well. That is very good news. They need to keep decent numbers up here to really get themselves back in this game. Simple is terrifying in the bathrooms, but the vice, he isn't scared whatsoever. And he'll take him down right at the end there, and that's a huge pickup. They can't afford to reinvest the AWP. They can probably scrape together somewhat of a buy of the AK. Without the simple orb, it's a lot less scary at this point. So tactical time up potentially coming in here. We'll see. They are discussing their options. You can see tensions starting to get a little bit higher there in the RV camp. And that whole whole round really weighed on Dupree's kill. The fact that he's able to step out and get electronics so D Device knows he can get back to that angle and then suddenly Dupree goes back to where he was originally yes. watching. If he goes down there, this kill, if that goes the other way, Device can't repeat that with the same level of confidence to know for sure that he's got the angle. And that opens up the front door, which means Device gets caught potentially in transition back to the site even if he wins it, the first pick. It's so clever, you see Dupree gets that first kill, all of a sudden he just watches the left entrance at that point, Device waits for the trade, and if they nail all their shots, it's actual poetry in Counter-Strike, it looks so good, and funnels them out of the bomb site. nothing can be done, it's 8-4, Astralis are very used to this position by now, they, they enjoy a comeback it seems, even in grand finals they always find themselves on the back foot, they're slowly getting back into it now, like we said it's a tactical timeout for Na'Vi, as they compose themselves and work out what they can afford to purchase here. It's only simple that hasn't spent any money. He goes for Deagle, Armor, and the Grenades. They have fully invested into round number 13, trying to steal back the momentum here. Zeus gets a last minute UMP, and Device going for that first pick. We haven't seen any of these opening kills be successful just yet. Flashbang to the face, but he avoids it. And now, will he find anything at the start? The text movement towards our playground. Oh, that boost. We've seen it a few times. Doesn't get them the kill. Smoke down at Monster Zippix will push up. M4 
four still to work with. Dupree, meanwhile, will get at the bottom of the stairs just to make sure no one's going to wrap back around toward the bathrooms. That gives confidence naturally to device once again on the AWP. So those two will be in them. Oh, Glaive. Spotted but couldn't land. Backside showing as well. I think he just saw a texture. Didn't yes. take the time to ascertain that it was the back and went for the fastest shot he possibly could. Yep. That really was a bit of a sitter by that standard but still device he's hitting absolutely everything still takes down simple and that's a key scout to find oh, I didn't actually tag flamey but not aware that he could see him before that as the smoke was still in position electronic uh, contact on b knows glaive's also behind the barrels and wants to try and flush him out as well and he's gonna do exactly that double head shot on entry now can hold off as he jumps up toward the window electronic is absolutely static electricity at this point in time and he's certainly making a stroll. It seems static. They're not doing anything to try and distill him from the site. They walk in once again, but the bomb is over toward long. So there's no access on to B. The fact that it's a four on two, nonetheless, opens up options. The problem being there's 19 seconds and Device thinking maybe he's saving, suddenly stays on A and realizes they're actually heading toward him. That incendiary is actually perfect. That's gonna buy them enough time to actually get towards the site here. Was looking a little bit terrifying, but Dupree continues to apply the pressure once again. They're not watching the flags. It goes down to a two on two. Bomb barely got planted. Flamey went down the second it touched the ground. They're not watching the flanks, and you're right. The fact that they didn't have the bomb near enough to the site, all of electronics work comes undone. Edward and Zeus have to find Dupree. They know he's entering from the bathrooms, but he's already checked the side. Oh, the 180 nearly gets away. Oh my goodness, you gotta respect it. You can see Na'Vi barely celebrating that one. They knew how close Dupree was to picking it up. It wasn't a clean round, and once again, it's that flank from Connector. They don't seem to be aware of it when they make their full commitment towards the A site. They've gotta wake up and see that possibility. May just had them before, and this time it was Dupree. Electronic caught in transition, and you're right, that bomb gets planted with, what, a millisecond to go? If that bomb gets denied, it's round over. They've got to wake up on those sort of plays, but still, they get it on the board, take the momentum back, and you can see it tilting Dupree. They've got Famasses, CZs, and an AWP to operate with in round number 14. Going for the initial pick once again, nothing found. And this is still an exciting one because Na'Vi, they won't have anything left either if they give this round up. Both teams financially ruined as they reposition towards long. They're gonna boost device up. He doesn't want to fully commit to the flower bed. He just wants a tight angle like this to find the first kill and get the hell out of there. Time on the boost, but it does open up bathrooms this time with both players committing toward long. So it'll be one and then likely passive. There's a chance they could immediately re-peak on this. Dupree has a smoke that'll help get back, but no flash. So they could guarantee a re-peak. Device just barely saw Flamey in the bottom side of that scope. Well, that's what they wanted. Difficult round for them with a the lack of firepower. Device had to make a play. That certainly counts. Takes down Flamey. They've successfully got back towards the site. They won't recover the AK, but they're not worried about that. They want to maintain that man advantage right now as the timer ticks down. We hit 40 seconds here. So much more gifted this time to Na'Vi. Can certainly work these bathrooms and not have to get Slowed down, hindered on the way to the site, but still just 30 seconds to go. Device, angle between the brick. He's actually going to change that unit to his advantage, but he oversteps. That's when Simple peaks. It works out very fortunately for Navi. Dupree trying to get lost inside of the smoke. He's just going to get knocked out of the round. That's two given up. Does nothing to try and watch out for the stairs. His teammate's only arriving now. Again, again though, it's the flank. Electronic, he gets taken down. They don't even cheat. Simple's going to have to watch it. Gets the wall bang right, but Majisk is still alive, and they can trade off of this. Can they? Oh, my goodness! He might be simple, but he's not stupid. He comes out once more to find Zipix, and it's Glaive all alone, all very, very alone. 10 to 4 Navi. They're just well, welcoming that well, flank at this point. Yeah, you know what? You can get a couple of kills with free. What's we'll the deal with you? We've got the world's best here, ready to go with the AWP. Pulls out the Deagle, gets the second frag as well, and he was the one that opened things up. He took down the Orpid device, who was distracted at that one second by Zeus, who was encroaching on the bomb site. Edward did a good job to clear out that smoke. Can't see him but it still works the wall bank comes in and then the desert eagle zipex didn't know what hit him my god you can see electronic a little bit frustrated at the moment he went down but still they pick it up it's going to be 10-4 here hunting for the final round it's cz's and a scout as glaive will push towards shore here he's going to open that door and he does not want to go any further than that he's got one very angry t on the other side Let's see if Flamey can find a shot spots him does minimal damage Make label pull back. Just to note something of, of 
unusual high importance for CT sides and usually indicative of a, of a poor CT side. It doesn't matter that Dupree leads the way with 16. The fact that Simpix is on four kills only says enough because he's your CT anchor. Yep. He's playing the most important positions and his efficiency is everything. If he's not getting kills on B, that tells me straight away B's not going well. Or he's having to retake so much that he's not really part of the round Rotations. whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. They could just render him useless in that regard as well. Electronic already sticks up towards the cubby. The spray device goes down, though, and we're looking potentially at 11-4 for Navi in the first half. It's pretty shocking stuff. Again, it's yeah. the devil you know versus the devil you don't when we go on to the next map that's, as well. That's why I wanted to use that example. I'm going to talk over this. I think that this is the kill. Maybe not all right, Dupree. If you think back to that grand final last week, no one expected train from Liquid, and it surprised the Astralis. They looked rattled because they didn't prepare for that particular map. Now, I'm going to suggest they didn't prepare for cash whatsoever. They have not got time to look back on anything. This could be a really exciting second map if Na'Vi can close this game out. They're making a convincing case to do so. Clinical precision there from the two stars at the end. Simple and Flamey getting it done with the AK-47. They'll take the last three rounds. Simple finishes the half of 17. Electronic with 15. Those are the two names you were at the very top. Finally, Na'Vi are looking like a world-class team here at this event. Yeah, this is solid. This is really exciting for them. Certainly the way they want to end the year in 2018. Astralis has won absolutely everything. Na'Vi, a win right now for them. We saw Liquid win in Malta. We saw Liquid actually beat them and get to the finals at Pro League last week. They want to make a case to be number two in the world and really send a message before the major. This is how you do it. I will say the conviction with which the selection was made by Zonic to say cash. He did say nuke originally. <laughs> that's I think he true. Even thought it was still in. <laughs> but he did say cash once he realized, okay, that's my options. He was pretty confident in it, but perhaps again that's relying on the fact that he doesn't play it. I would prefer to have Glaive with me there and just just confirm. True. Yep, absolutely. Just because that's so much pressure on him. If this does go wrong, he's going to feel so much responsibility there. Anyway, let's get into this pistol. It's going to be a couple of smokes available here for Astralis. They've got fast, long, and mid control here. Electronic has been stunning with this US so far in the tournament. We'll see if he can nail the first headshot here. Spots one. Realize this is out of contention now. We'll have to fall back and reposition. The smoke's deployed. This is a full commitment coming in from Astralis. Flamey has absolutely no vision, but he takes a few shots through the smoke just in case. They can actually go up on top of the bomb boxes at this point, and they will. Just to get the vision. He can control the situation. He can get the read, the information, and they can potentially plant the ball, but it's all gone wrong. Flamey, Electronic, and Edward. They've all got kills just by playing on the truck. Edward's going to do everything, and now he's got the 12th round. Everything looks so good for Astralis. The one position that can stifle them does. I can't believe it. They didn't capitalize upon those smokes. No kills were found. No bomb was planted. What's going on here? It was so good. They got the long control. The mid area was all theirs. They got the smokes down. The flashes were in, but no kills found. It's it's crazy to think they didn't even get a plant out of that situation. They're gonna have to take a full eco here, Matt, and that's guaranteeing 13-4 on the CT side of overpass here. Yes, Astralis can buy AK's next round. But you've got a wild card round next. That's when they're gonna have the SMGs. They're gonna be running at you at all facets, just like this. Simple. Okay, Rob's <laughs> shooting the ceiling as well, I guess. And uh, he's looking for his second kill here. He just wants to get it over with. He knows he's won this round. You gotta admire the man. Fires it a few times and just sprays to the roof because why not? Won't get to sleep. Maybe that's what it was. It was the bat signal in the sky. Yeah. Everyone get here now. Swarm the underpass position. 13 to 4. Yeah. And they were almost not in this final. Cloud9 was almost here. Glaive, six kills. Zipex, four. Magus, one of the big names of the squad this year. Eight. It's the first map of a best of three, and it is Na'Vi's pick. We're not going to get too excited just yet, but this... This is pretty monumental at this point. I don't, I don't think anyone expected a 13-4 scoreline coming in, but Astralis with guns in the hand now. But remember, like I said, the bonus round, it suggests something a little bit crazy will happen. You'll see SMGs running around, trying to find a kill here or there. Up and down the map, we'll see whether that comes into play. Edwards certainly investigating towards Shaw. Decent grenade has considerable damage towards Dupree there. And at this point, it does subside. Not as uh, up and about as I thought as Dupree can't convert the frag. Man, oh man, he's getting picked apart by names. That one did surprisingly less damage than I would have thought. It's a ramp, not a staircase. So I would have thought some of the radius might have collected, but he sits with 50 HP nonetheless. And AK-47, Dupree, oftentimes second man into Majisk. Significant. Speaking of Majisk, he'll go back over with Glaive and Device toward A. 
A is actually wide open as well, by the way. Yep. Rotation cool. based on the push through the short tunnel. Trying uh -oh. gets you free. Famas to find it. But again, that's over on B, and they've realized there's not a lot of activity here. That single kill, Flamey repeats water. There's no one there. Astralis needed to go. Flash comes out just to slow them enough. Electronic jumping through. He's going to get tanked up. Goes to the truck. That allows Magist to collect. Smoke down on the stairs this time should amount to a very least a bomb plant, and it will. Well, there we go. Zipex watches the flank. You can see he knows what's up towards that position. That's how you should be patrolling it. It will be an Astralis round, their first of the half. But remember, as I mentioned, this is the round where Na'Vi, they take a bit of a gamble. They come in and keep their SMGs. There's not technically a full gun round here. They will have enough cash to buy up again and even bring out a simple AWP. So yes, Astralis have negated this round, but the problems begin once more as we get into round number 19. It's going to be Edward to save the M4. Zeus looking for a rifle as well. Is there one there? I don't think there is. He probably knows better than I do. Just the UMP for him for now. As he holds up, Glaive doesn't really have to hunt this. It's not worth giving up his AK. And there it is. First round of the board for Astralis. Going to need a lot more where that came from. I think I have a chance of getting back in this map. It's now 13 to 5. As mentioned, there is enough the purchase up here. Not quite the AWP, $100 short of that on simple side, but they'll definitely bring out the rifles here, and Astralis cannot afford to be reset at this point. It has to be a round victory for them. Simple's got the spawn, mate. He's got that look in his eye as well. He certainly wants to get aggressive. He's already there. They're heading as well, but he's only got the M4, not the AWP. So he'll hold off on getting aggressive and peeking all the way toward the stairs because against AKs, his head would come off a bit quicker than he would remove theirs. In theory, it is simple. He's pretty quick at what he does. I think it's safe when you have him on the server. Pretty insane stats. Last time Astralis got five rounds or less on overpass was in March 2017. That's if they lose 16 to five at this point. I feel like the comeback's on. They are the masters of the comeback. This isn't done by any stretch. We're still 27 then. Good God. Electronic. How is he alive? He's very lucky to be alive. The AUG scoped in and everything. He still couldn't find a shot. And it's just to get down. Flash is simple back out. Quick M4 shot. They now know he's in the connector. But the shadow again favors his position. The flash not deep enough. He's still fine to hold off and try and pre fire. But Majisk wins the duel. Now a lot of pressure on him. 21 HP. Edward, he'll make up for it by at least getting Dupree. But they know that that's on B. And if the aggression's on A, there's a likely rotation to try and support the man on low health to the man who's already been tagged. So why not counter-rotate? And that's exactly what Astralis looked to do. Just Edward waiting there. This is going to be a difficult hold. He'll flash and do whatever he can, but it doesn't look good. He's going down here for sure. If he gets one, I'll be impressed. But Glaive takes care of him. I wouldn't even go for this retake if I'm Navi at this point. The money's going to be wrecked. He's now lost Zeus as well. No choice but Electronic and Flamey just to hold on to their rifles. Great stuff from Astralis. Good mid-round call. Reading it very well indeed. If you walk into a bomb site and you've got four players up and there's just one player there, you take him down, no problem. It's definitely over. You can't even consider the retake at that point. Zeus tried it taken down and you can't really blame Edward for that one he had to try and hold a position get at least a kill and flashed off sent back down to the water taken down with the wall bang by Glaive they'll keep four players up we did say Astralis had to avoid the reset there and they've done that in particular fashion what a shot lovely stuff and device finds electronic he's gonna get this one as well not quite Flamey will survive in the bathrooms it seems but three Astralis players will as well there we go 13-6 Long way to go at this point, but surely there won't be a buy here available. Who will win? You can vote now. We'll see. Right now, I think most of you will be saying Na'Vi in this particular map, but as mentioned, Astralis, it takes a lot more than this to close things out. You have to get a yeah. 16 first. Doesn't matter how big your lead is. It's, it's, it's a John Maddenism, right? The team with the most points will yeah. win at the end of the game. <laughs> While in this case, it's the, not over until you get to 16. Absolutely. You it, might have this usually, but it's not done. No, yeah, and you, and you can't give them an inch. Every mistake that they make, you pretty much have to capitalize, and you yourself making mistakes is opening a door wide open on the CT side because the economy starts to slip away. Great first pick from Simple. It certainly is to the benefit. Oh, my goodness, the flame. He gets caught out, gap in the smoke as it was dissolving, and he was unaware that he was going to be so exposed as just got the shot of return. That was pressure on Pitt. Edward thankfully supporting Zeus, who's only on the CZ as such. 
wants to get inside of the smoke, but Magis, he seems to be exactly that. Magician around the smoke, tries to pull the rabbit from the hat to find Zeus as well, but can't do it. It's the CZ to get the kill. But look who's been walking the whole time. If he had the bomb right now, imagine yeah. that. Unfortunately, he does not. That's fantastic work from Zeus there. Lovely, aggressive work, taking attention away from Simple at the same time. But they have no information that Glaive is here. He has smokes, Molotov, and a flashbang. Heads towards heaven at this point. They need to be very aware. I'm not sure Zeus is. The timing might save him at this point. Glaive will have to show himself and doesn't spot him. That is unbelievable, the timings and see us go sometime. And Simple, one step ahead, detects the play towards heaven, takes him down. One step closer now, 14-6. Their map pick and the absolute wild card of Cash coming in next for context for people that don't follow CS every single week. For the last three or four years, Na'Vi have vetoed Cash in every best of three going. They say they played it four times a year. I'm going to assume 90% of those were online um, through maybe Pro League or something like that. That's a weird veto system online. They do not play this at LAN. Guardian left Na'Vi, saying he never really played a professional level. I had to learn the map at that level when he joined Faith. So that just goes to show you how interesting it, it is it's it, in the map pool. It, it certainly brings the mentality of Zeus to question, as he, he's been the leader for most of that and, and the majority of this lineup from that far back. So what have they practiced? I think you're going to rely on Simple to just go off the chains. Yep. And that which might be to enough. To be fair, is their strat anyway half the time, right? That might be enough, you know. Goes over, entry through monster, three players there. And the shotgun's gonna try and hold this. He's got a great position to do so, but Dupree takes Flamey. Flashback, he's up close, he's got one low HP, can't. Bolt it in time. Pocket it in time, pump it in time. Whatever you do with the shotgun, doesn't seem to matter from a gist. He'll get Zeus down. Someone let me know on Twitter, I'm sure someone will. Pump is fine. Pump the brakes, perhaps, because they're going to back out on the Navi side. Not even attempt to get the retake underway. 14 now to 7. They'll cut it back in half. Still two to go for Navi, so saving these weapons certainly gives them a bit more purchase power down the line, and they can afford to give up a few if they require. And maybe even should do with the money the way that it is. Rely on these two weapons and not get baited into over-purchasing. It's been back and forth. His last few rounds, two in a row for Astralis, one for Navi, and this will be now another for Astralis. Simple will save the orb. Electronic with a rifle. Those are the names that have been topping the scoreboards, taking the heads off the shoulders of Astralis, and it will be enough. I wouldn't even be that scared to force by around this. Yes, you have a massive lead, and by the Counter-Strike handbook, you should be maybe saving onto your money and keeping that lead strong and not risking anything. You know what, sometimes you've got to throw that rulebook away and say, you know what, Simple's got an orb. Let's see what he can do with it. Let's let him off the leash and see if we can get the 15 as quickly as possible. End this right here, right now. That's exactly what's going to happen. I can see the buyers coming in already. Great shots from Dupree and Majith. This shot secured the round. Zeus, nice spot, but couldn't find the aim. Flaming, not feeling it. Got to stay composed. You're against Astralis, who don't flinch like that anymore. The orb is out, the M42, and they've justified UMPs and CZs here as they go for the boost towards Sean. This door is such a point of contention when this boost is in effect. Smoke down on short tunnel means that Simple can actually focus on it. In fact, they're even going to bring a second player, a third if you include the man boosting, out toward that construction position. And he can re-smoke that, meaning Simple could actually fix his focus onto that steel door once more. Majisk is not in line with it. Edward hoping that trying to pull that spray through might even bait him into walking into it, but Simple's going to give up on that. They now have to worry about Monster, knowing what? that it's over toward B. How does Edward win that at that range with a UMP? I have no idea, but that's ludicrous. He stole that kill away. That shouldn't be going in his favor. Magisk in a 1v1 against a UMP, especially at that range, it should have been his. Edward's done a great job there, but Zeus gives it up in return, and they might commit on that. Smoke down, Edward there. Boss is over. It's taken out by Dupree. Let's see how the gap was there or not, but perhaps it was. It's just not quite been covering all the way to the wall as of yet as it just bloomed. Nonetheless, simple. He's still waiting with an AWP in the open. He's wanting someone to walk in, confident enough in his aim to be that fast. And you can see him snapping back and forth to both sides. Three players up still for Astralis as they get the bomb down. And simple, desperate to get inside of the site, will work with his teammate, try and trade the angle. His teammate already on the platform. Someone's got to look toward Monster, though. They find the first on Electronic. The other two are already on the pillar. It's going to be followed up. Electronic's got another. Dupree, the only one left on Monster, and he doesn't have the angle to the bomb. They can get on top of this. He's got to swing wide. He'll find the first on. Simple, Electronic gets the trade. 
and Simple loves it. Electronic is the man he needs to be the duo. They took the gamble. The AWB and the M4 saved. If they lost that round, Astralis could be right back in the game. But it's the tag team duo, Simple and Electronic, to close it out. You can see them operating with great synergy there. One watching shot. Electronic, you need to focus on that pillar right now. Device bottles it. He can't find the shot. And Electronic then can focus, close it out. He's got the kit. And it's map point to Na'Vi here on Overpass. 15 to 7. And the money, it does not look fantastic here. You can see what it means to that man there. Zipix is still non-existent. He is still nowhere to be seen. That can't happen on Overpass. In no. the, the past, he's the man that really makes this map work for Astralis. And only with six kills and 18 deaths at this point. Dupree's got 22. He's playing his heart out here on the grand final stage. His teammates just can't keep up right now. Device, we haven't really mentioned him at all, maybe a few times in the first half, but they haven't stepped up here on the T side. They've had a few scrappy rounds go in their favor. They've been reset each and every time. They now come in with two UMPs, three AKs, a full array of utility. It's enough, but now eight rounds in a row have to be perfect here. Overtime is in effect in the best of threes, obviously. And we'll see Flamey, this time with a good spawn, using that double orb, trying to find the first pick, but he could be in trouble here. It's Dupree to take down Electronic. You said it, playing his heart out, finds another kill. Zeus, did he overlook it? Okay, he's actually ducked down, brings the shotgun back Ridiculous. out. I thought he was done for. I thought he looked away at exactly the wrong time, perhaps expecting the flash. Dupree trying to be very fast, gets to long, gets caught, gets away with it. 56, he was already tagged too, so no damage done. Zipix waiting for the bomb, and that shotgun at the bottom of the ladder is going to be a massive what just problem happens? if he's quick. Simple just got glaive. Where? That's insane. That's a bong. That's a bong <laughs> smoke. Well, he's got another one. This guy, he's looking to take us all the way in the grand final. Cash is a question mark, but still, it looks like Na'Vi might have done enough. Zipex and Device left in a three versus two here. Device has got the big bomb side, though, but the bomb all the way in the Zipix short pipe. Zipex is slow. He's slow to rotate. Yeah. He's still in the short pipe, checking back towards spawn. Did, did, I was going to say, did Edward not see him? I saw it on the overview. He did actually look back that direction. Bomb down. Slaney with it. 16 7 as Charlotte's take down overpass. And what happens now? We go to the most unknown map between these two teams. And is it going to catch Astralis off?